Medicare, you started with Social Security. How, how has the government done running Medicare? Well, it's been constantly surprised because everything it predicted, uh, all of its predictions for costs and eligibility were much too conservative. What we did in 1965 was attach the most rapidly growing portion of our population, the elderly, to our most dynamic science, which is medicine, as an entitlement. Probably half the medical treatments now in use, diagnostic, therapeutic, and pharmacological, did not exist in 1965 when we passed Medicare. Indeed, if pharmacology had been at all as developed then as it is now, we would have had Medicare Part D, the prescription drug entitlement, in 65. So was that a, so? Are you saying Medicare was a mistake? No, I don't it's think. I do not think provision for the elderly is a mistake. I do think we're in danger of having a gerontocracy, that is, a, a government run by and for the elderly. Uh, the most rapidly growing in percentage terms age cohort, cohort in this country is Americans 85 years old or older. That matters because the average health care cost for a 55-year-old are five times, sorry, for an 85-year-old are five times higher than the average cost for a 55-year-old. So longevity is a great social achievement. It's also ruinously expensive. So if we do not die when the Office of Management and Budget says we should. <laughs> uh, 